parked behind the entrance here at Caledon King Town Line South, you would never even know that this place existed. What you'll find here is more than 250 acres of green space consisting of forest, meadow, and we're located at the headwaters of the Humber. This place is known as Bolton Camp and for more than 75 years it ran as a camp operated by the Neighbourhood Workers Association which today is known as Family Service Toronto. We were known as the Neighbourhood Workers Association so we began in 1914. It was the dream of our General Secretary at the time to open a place, a refuge essentially, for mothers and children to escape the heat of the city. So we ran and, uh, ran and operated this camp for 77 years until 1999. And at its peak in the 20s and into the 1930s, there were as many as 5,500 campers, mothers and young children coming to Bolton. At the beginning, they would arrive by train. They would come into the town of Bolton and then walk the four and a half kilometers to the camp. And it was a significant place of employment and of leisure time for the thousands and thousands of people. Conservation Authority purchased the property in 2011 with the intention of transforming this site into a place that would host entrepreneurship opportunities, innovative programming, while preserving the natural and historical aspects of the site. I learned about the Bolton Camp project through the design shreds. We kind of did like, like our second draft of our layout for our presentation and then right now we're just working on it. Involved were about 160 high school students, community members, business leaders to brainstorm ideas on how to redevelop this site. We came up with ideas about uh, indoor food such as like a community kitchen. The big one was the getaway um, that people can come to Bolton Camp and they can learn about uh, growing food and making organic meals. And stuff. Once the charrettes wrapped up, TRCA, with the support of the Region of Peel, hired 70 high school and post-secondary school students to work here on the first phase of redevelopment of the site. Our main task for this summer was working on the three cabins here on site. What we had to do for each cabin was, first off, take off all the graffiti that was on them, which entailed us sanding them and repainting them both inside and out. Then we had to jack them up and make them level so people could walk in and out of them. We had to redo all the window frames and all the windows. And then we also had to change all the railings and all the stairs to make them accessible to the public. I learned a lot about cooperation this and teamwork. Was, no, this one was You're good. never really doing an individual task. Sometimes, but most of the time you're either working with a small team or a large group if it's a larger project. So you really learn how to properly like, blend with the other people and use everybody's separate skills towards one team goal. I, my confidence has been built up because I am able to do things that I didn't know I was able to do in the past. I think this is a really good experience because you get to work with people and um, I wasn't a very good like outgoing person a long time ago so this has taught me to like open up to people and become more sociable. While most of our students were working on site this summer we also had a select group of students working on art projects, developing murals and a website and also reaching out to the community. It was through this outreach that we learned about how many people have been connected to Bolton Camp in the past and actually want to reconnect to the site again in the future. I'd, I'd seen uh, videos from a few years back to how bad the property got. I was really upset about what had happened, but uh, to see what you guys have done, my God, it, it, Incredible. Looks, it looks like you know, 25, 30 years ago. One thing even then that we were super excited about was the fact that it was youth that was here with all that wonderful energy, and to yeah. me, I, I, I felt like it was back in camp days, that yeah. there was young people here with new ideas and, and coming back here however many weeks later to see all that you guys have done is just, I think it's wonderful. <laughs>
They smell Y2C rock. Okay. Okay, oh, we're, we're from, from Camp Bolton, and we're on the best team. We do the what to see. We're seven feet tall. Mosquitoes may eat us, but they'll never feat us, because we're from Camp Bolton. And we're joining the song. The sing along, sing along, sing along. Woo! Ungawa, 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 wa. Ungawa, 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 ungawa. Oh, oh, we're from Camp Bolton and we're on the best team. We do the walk to see we're seven feet tall. Mosquitoes may eat us, but they'll never beat us. Cause we're from Camp Bolton. Join in the song. Sing along, sing along, sing along. Woo! <laughs> Ungawa, 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 ungawa